Campbell Soup stock is still warm after a hot quarter. The company beat on earnings and revenue and boosted its guidance as it passed higher costs along to shoppers and drove product innovation in soup and goldfish crackers. The man himself, Campbell Soup CEO Mark Klaus, joins us now. Mark, always great to get some time with you here uh, right as we get into the peak of soup season. And you had a pretty good quarter in U.S. soups. Why do you think that's the case? Well, I think, uh, Brian, first of all, great to be on the show. Thanks for having me. Um, you know, I, I think in the moment that we're in right now, the, the soup business uh, really matches both the demand for consumers and the value that they're looking for. And as we've watched consumers navigate uh, through tough inflation, a backdrop of a tougher economic environment, I think soup in many ways uh, checks a lot of boxes for consumers right now. It's uh, a product that's very versatile, whether you're preparing your Thanksgiving dinner uh, or whether it's something that you're using for a quick lunch. And I, I think that uh, has demonstrated a lot of resilience in this time. Um, and I also think it's a, a bit of culmination of all the work that we've been doing the last several years to rejuvenate this brand and business by bringing, as you said, a lot of innovation as well as great marketing. Uh, our chunky business is an example, um, really great the you know, best uh, new item in soup last year was our spicy line of chunky, really targeting younger consumers. And we paired that with great marketing on things like uh, EA Madden, uh, which really uh, would not have initially thought of chunky in the world of gaming, but it's proven to be a great bridge for younger consumers and uh, younger targets. And then a full line of better for you products with Well Yes and Pacific um, that really rounds out that portfolio. So I, I think you know, kind of the culmination of a lot of good work, but in a good moment for the category as well. Mark, I've told you this before. I've tried that uh, spicy, chunky soup, and it, it has sizzled my tongue. I mean, it is a good new product by the Campbell team. I have to give uh, credit where credit is due. But the moment that we are in, like you just mentioned, is it, do you think consumers are just cutting back on making larger meals because they've been hit with so much inflation that they now view a can of soup as the only meal that they can possibly afford? Well, I think it's it's really more about making your dollars stretch. And, you know, w one of the things that we talked a little bit about yesterday is 80 percent of meals right now are being prepared in home. Um, and in, in what we're hearing and understanding from consumers is they don't really want to make trade offs, but they want to understand how to do this in a more economic way. And so when you look at an average meal prepared with our products, so think condensed soup, think broth, uh, even prego pasta sauce. As you're putting together a dinner for your family, average, uh, even with the inflation we've experienced, about $2 a serving. And that's versus away from home, about $20. And even if you're in the grocery, uh, we're seeing a lot of migration from higher cost categories or segments like frozen, for example, into the shelf stable space, both for uh, prepared meals, but also for, as you point out, quick lunches. I, you know, I think one of the things that's really worked well on Chunky uh, is the protein content and the messaging around kind of the fulfillment of lunch um, with something that's quick and easy. So I don't know that I see it shrinking necessarily, but I do think value is a big driver right now. Let's pick apart some of your uh, ingredient basket here. So you have, I'll put tin, uh, you use obviously tin to put the, put the soup in. You have tomatoes, you have vegetables. With this, within this ingredient list or this cost of goods sold, is inflation coming down or are we beyond the worst? Well, I think as you think about the year, and if, if you uh, listened to us yesterday, it was a, you know, a pretty a significant number where inflation in the first quarter for us was 18 percent and uh, many of the elements that you're describing uh, are part of that i do think as you manage through the balance of the year the incremental nature of inflation will begin to moderate but remember you're going to begin to lap big increases in inflation a year ago and so that's part of what's helping uh, those comparisons as you move through the year Interestingly enough, I think what you're going to be experiencing in most businesses is some areas that are coming down and some areas that are still demonstrating incremental inflation. We talked about yesterday um, as, as you know, surgical and targeted as this will be, um, a bit more pricing needed to match a few places where we're still seeing uh, inflation creeping up. But at the end of the day, I think collectively or in total, you'll see a moderation of the amount of incremental impact from inflation uh, without it necessarily turning yet into something like deflation or overall costs going down. And I know, Mark, the Goldfish brand um, has been very hot for you really the past few years. Uh, in terms of this year, how much in sales will that brand do this year? 
And then next year, what else do you have coming on that front? Well, it represents a significant part. It's our biggest brand uh, on the snack side uh, by far. And it is one that has just, as you said, uh, being do been doing tremendously well. And really at the heart of that strategy, and this was, uh, I, I think, just an excellent job by our marketing team, and really understanding that the Goldfish brand is in almost every home, um, but really had been targeted primarily to the kids. And the strategy over the last couple of years has been to broaden that range uh, of household members uh, because everyone sneaks a handful of it. But we want them really excited about the products that are coming in um, and bringing the full range. And so you go from uh, a Frank's Red Hot, uh, which was one of our really successful in and outs that we're going to be bringing back. Uh, in limited quantities uh, due to popular demand, uh, but also uh, down to the base product or even things like the uh, Wakanda Forever Black, Black Panther partnership that we have right now, where we're still very uh, focused on the kids in the household, but want to bring that full range. And then innovation like megabytes uh, and some of the pack sizes that really help match uh, consumers' lifestyles has been really the key ingredient to success there. So uh, a big brand, iconic brand, but one that we've really kind of been able to rejuvenate uh, and bring some new life to through broadening it uh, across further consumers. Well, I know I've been an avid consumer of all things goldfish for many years. Uh, Campbell Soup CEO Mark Klaus, thanks for giving us some time this morning. Really appreciate it. Uh, happy holidays to you. Yeah, thanks, Brian. You as well. Thanks so much.